Hey there, everybody. I hope you're having a great Sunday. I have a couple more. Okay, so now, like, I'm addicted to do to doing beaded spine journals. I'm really having such fun creating these, you guys. We've got one called Nature Study, and this one is Illuminated Script. Let's start with Illuminated Script, because I was really lucky to be able to go to the Cloisters, Cloisters, which is the a subsidiary of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And I went several years ago, but it was like a super fun example of medieval art and architecture. It was just like one of those really phenomenal trips. And my son and his gal used to live in New York. I mean, they lived in New York. Corey's been in New York for about 18 years now. So um, it, it was on one of those visits that I got to go. Beautiful medieval architecture um, art and illuminated scripts. They have just a wonderful display of illuminated scripts. And this fabric really does remind me of an illuminated script because if you kind of know the story, now I'm showing you the fiddly closure. Sometimes these brads have little tabs on the back and you just have to kind of work this stretchy string around that brad. I really loved it because it went with the theme of the book with its goldish color, <laughs> you know, rhinestone here. So I really did want to use it. Uh, illuminated scripts, the earliest ones are like from 400 to 600 AD. And the most the most manuscript illuminated manuscripts, of course, were made in monasteries, but they were made between 1100 and 1600, you know, before the like the printing press kind of came into being. They were, like I said, created in monasteries. Uh, they're handwritten books. They're painted with precious metals like silver and gold. Usually the pages of an illuminated book were made of calf skin or sheep skin or goat skin. Have borders, illustrations. It's just such a, to me, you know, books are fascinating anyway. To me, the idea of a monk sitting down, copying the Bible, or copying fables or whatever it was they were copying and being able to illuminate that text with gold, with silver, with, you know, and you think about the covers of them or just like chock full of precious jewels and that sort of thing. Just a fascinating history. Now, ours is not, <laughs> it's not made of calf skin or sheep skin or goat skin, but it's a blank book. You can do whatever you want with this book. Make it into a journal, an art journal, a sketch journal, a dream journal, a 2021 journal. If you are 2022 journal, we've got that upcoming because we are drawing 2021 to, to a close. It's a diary. It is whatever you want it to be. I think that is the enchanting things about books like this because it can be whatever you want it to be. You are going to write a book <laughs> in a book. It's kind of like life, isn't it? Life is kind of comes at you as this blank page, this blank book. And you just kind of fill up the pages. You fill up the pages daily. This can be a gratitude journal. It can be a self-improvement journal. I've been thinking a lot about self-care and the things that I can do to help me take care of me better. We all need that, ladies. If we are ladies or guys, you know, guys too, uh, sometimes we just feel like we have to manage the world and do more 
than our part. So we have illuminated script. These are $35, beautiful beaded spine here. Our next book is called Nature Study. Has a bit of butterfly, um, one of these beautiful hydrangeas. Now, this is fabric and it's double stacked fabric here. This is a cutout and this is a cutout. And you can see these sweet little moths and butterflies here. And this is what the spine looks like. I'm having, like I said, a lot of fun creating beaded spines, but boy, they take a really long time. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, I really am enjoying it. So this is what this book looks like. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you, illuminated script is, hold on. Illuminated script is, the first signature is 26 pages, second signature is 22, third signature is 26, 74 pages all together. Now you do that times two and you've got 148 sheets to work with. And because you have stellar imagery here, you can use this as a book of backgrounds. You can write in the book as well as collage or glue book or write down your art ideas. You know, just a special place. And you guys, I love pockets. So two of the signatures in these books will have pockets. I think they're so handy. These are bound books, of course, not like a wrap binding where things are where things are movable. You know, in a wrap binding book, you can take pages out and put pages in. I just love the butterfly imagery here. I think butterflies mean a lot. It is the ultimate transformation, isn't it? From a caterpillar into a butterfly. I was really lucky to get some butterfly visits last week when I was feeling not my, quite my usual self. That was very sweet. And this is cardstock. So we've got cardstock and mixed media paper. This is a piece of mixed media paper. She even sounds nice. I like the way she sounds. Sound is really important to me. Especially as I get older. And there we go, my friends. This whole book is called Nature Study. Again, just be on the lookout for that fussy brad. The brads were too pretty to not use. And there we go, guys. Thank you so much for supporting me at the Etsy store. I really, really appreciate it. Gosh, y'all, more than I can say. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.